In this video, I'm going to take a look at amino acids. So I've got a model kit. It's a partial model, actually, because I've not got anything on there. I'll explain why in a second. So why are they called amino acids? Well, we've got an amino group. So there's the NH2 group here. And we've also got an acid group. So there's the COH group there. As well as these two functional groups, the amino group and the acid group, We've also got a hydrogen bonded to this carbon and we've got a variable R group. So that's why I haven't put anything on there. Now, the type of amino acids that we need to study at A level are what we call alpha amino acids. And the reason for the alpha is because the two functional groups, the amino and the acid group, they are bonded to the same carbon and that makes them alpha amino acids. Quickly show you this amino acid here. It's still an amino acid because we've got the amino group and we've got the carboxylic acid group. But you can see now that there are two carbons between the two functional groups. In other words, these aren't bonded to the same carbon. This would actually be called a beta amino acid because there are two carbons between the functional groups. So alpha amino acids are the ones we study where these two functional groups are bonded to the same carbon. And you can see there, I've written up in green, the general formula of an alpha amino acid, RCHNH2COOH. We'll just take a look at some simple amino acids so obviously when the r group is an h that's the simplest of all the amino acids and that's known as glycine when the r groups a ch3 group we call it alanine and the last one we'll look at is when the r groups a ch2oh group we call it serine now because